Great Wendy Way, where I will be bringing you the top in Broadway news this week. First off, let's start with the Broadway.com Audience Choice Awards, which were held on Sunday, May 5th. Here is your complete recap. The Broadway.com Audience Choice Awards give the fans a voice in what's their favorite on The Great White Way. The big prize for favorite musical went to Kinky Boots. Favorite play went to Breakfast at Tiffany's. Annie on Broadway took home the prize for favorite revival of a musical. Laura Osnes ended the night with two awards, the first being Favorite Actress in a Musical, and the second being Favorite Onstage Couple, which she shared with her co-star Santino Fontana. Alan Cummings' one-man revival of Macbeth took home two prizes, one for Favorite Play Revival, and the second for coming for favorite actor in a play. Stephanie J. Block took home the award for favorite diva performance for her role as Edwin Drood. And Sierra Boggess won an award for favorite replacement for portraying Christine Daae in Phantom of the Opera. Other Broadway favorites in attendance included Kyle Dean Massey, Annalee Ashford, Bette Midler, Jeremy Jordan, and Orfe. A complete list of winners can be found on the Broadway.com Twitter and website. I'm Jeremy Jordan. And I'm the 2013 Lucille Lortel Awards were also held on Sunday, May 5th. These awards recognize excellence in off-Broadway theater. The Whale took home the prize for Outstanding Play, Dogfight for Outstanding Musical, The Piano Lesson for Outstanding Revival, and All the Rage for Outstanding Solo Show. Two shows currently playing are scheduled to have a cast recording. These include the Broadway revival of Pippin and the off-Broadway revival of the last five years. Pippin was in the recording studio this week. The show stars Tony nominees Patina Miller, Andrea Martin, and Terrence Mann. Composer Steven Schwartz was in the studio as the company re-recorded these classic tracks, and the album is set to be released in June. Again, Pippin is nominated for a Tony Award for Best Revival of a Musical, and is the story of a young prince's journey to find his purpose in life, amongst a circus-themed production with stunts and magic. The Last Five Years stars Adam Cantor and Betsy Wolf and is a musical that tells the story of an estranged couple. One tells the story from the beginning of their meeting to their eventual divorce. The other tells the story in reverse order and they meet once in the middle. It's known for its classic songs. The album is to be released by Ghostlight Records. The original album was released in 2002 with Norbert Leo Butts and Sherry Renee Scott. The Tony Award winning play from Broadway, August Osage County is set to become a movie and be released this Thanksgiving and now we have our first poster previewing the film. The show stars Meryl Streep, Julia Roberts and Abigail Breslin and is scheduled to hit theaters this November. The show is a dark comedy following a dysfunctional family and their love-hate relationships. Originally played on Broadway to rave reviews by both fans and critics. And the Broadway revival of Jekyll and Hyde is set to close early. It's closing on May 12, 2013. The revival stars Constantine Morialis and Deborah Cox and opened to so-so reviews earlier this season. It opened following a fairly successful national tour. The show was scheduled to close June 30th originally. It was already scheduled for a limited run. And at the time of close, we'll have played 15 previews and 30 regular performances. It was nominated for no Tony Awards. Well, with news of two cast recordings this week, I want to ask you what show, on or off Broadway, from this season are you most excited to listen to on the cast recording? Let me know in the comments or on Tumblr, Twitter, or Facebook, and I will pick my favorites and let you know on Thursday. Thanks so much for watching this episode of The Great Wendy Way. Make sure to tune in on Thursday for more Broadway news, and I will be bringing you Tony coverage until June 9th as well. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.